is what 3,500 hours in Skate 3 looks like. Alright, well, this is what 20 hours in Session looks like. Fuck, is he dead? Virtual Skater Boys rejoice! The blocked half of skateboarding games is fixed and now they're pouring out everywhere. Mmm, that's some tasty shit. I grew up in the golden age of skateboarding games, where Mr. Birdman here would release a brand new skateboarding game almost every year that would then be my personality for the remainder of that year. Underground. Underground 2. American Wasteland. Downhill. Forget that last, last one, scratch that last one. You know, when then Skate came along and said, Fuck off, Tony. Fucking analog is the future. That's why it's called Flick It. But then after three skate games, the rain stopped, soil dried up, and the great famine of skateboarding games of the 2010s hit. Now, Skate 3 launched in 2010. Yes, 12 years ago. Skate 3 is starting high school this year. The past 12 years have been hard, we're not gonna lie. You know, we actually had to find our kicks elsewhere. But thanks to a little thing called indie developers, skating games are back. Last year we got this game called Skater XL, which promised to be the next big skateboarding game, and then proceeded to not be that. Yeah, yeah. Without mods, this game is a glorified demo. Like they charge like forty quid for this game, and why? This is a game where even its own community love mocking it incessantly. Like you want easy Reddit karma? Just go over to the Skater XL subreddit and be like, "Hey, I was playing Session, and I found this neat uh, Skater XL Easter egg." <laughs> Yeah, a million updates. But lurking quietly in the background for a number of years has been a little game called Session. Now, Session is a skateboarding game for skateboarders and skateboard enthusiasts. You know, if you're used to Tony Hawk 900 double quad kick flipping over a fucking building, you might struggle to find your foot in here. Like, quite literally, you have to use your feet to catch the board. Now, before I start talking about Session, I need to give a quick confession. Uh, last year, when I bought Skate Rick Sale, just before I did, I bought Session on Early Access and Steam, and I played it for about an hour before I refunded it, because it would have been easier to backside flip El Toro than learn to control this. But then I saw that the game came out in 1.0, and I've heard a lot of hype and a lot of talk about it, so I thought I'd get back on the board. See what I did there. Now, Session over here is a skateboarding simulator, which means you ain't back flipping over the Eiffel Tower and spelling out the word gnarly anytime soon. There's a there's a G in gnarly. Like, you want to land a kickflip onto a rail? Well, you better get practicing, kiddo, because it's going to take you some time. Now, the basics of this game here are that your left analog stick controls your left foot, and your right analog stick controls your right. Pretty simple. Then you scoop and flick the analogs in the same way you kind of would with your feet if you were actually skateboarding. You know, there's no San Andreas cheat codes to do a trick here. And a cool thing about this game, instead of it being animation based, you know, like Skate or, or Tony Hawk, where you put in the input and the, the little guy does the trick and he does the set animation for that trick, this game uses this little thing called science and physics. So that when you do a trick, the board is physics based, so it will move uniquely every time. The future is so neat! And also, it is as difficult as it sounds. Like, you can jump in and just start flicking like a madman, but it's probably not gonna work out. That's why it's called Flick It. Just like real skateboarding, this motherfucker takes commitment. Why did I say motherfucker? I think that was a bit over the top. I think I should probably calm down. This game has a big learning curve, and the only reason it's as big as it is is because you genuinely have to, like, get muscle memory to remember what you're doing. Like, if you're in your head thinking about trying to land a trick, it's not gonna happen. You have to feel it. Feel it in your bones. In your soul. I'm not gonna lie to you, this game is difficult. See, when you first start up, it feels so unnatural. It's like, fuck it. It's like putting cheese on a curry. Like, you're just like, what? what? Cheese on a curry. What the fuck am I saying? Like, it's hard. I mean, you could say, you could say that this game is like the Dark Souls of skateboarding games. Oh my god, I'm so in a way, it's kind of true, but instead of like trying to be like ONS after like 40 fucking attempts, um, I spent over two hours trying to pressure flip on this rock and then half cab out. What the fuck? Oh, Like, this game does not hold your hand. It just tells you to do something and then fucking go for it. Like, some of the missions, that, like, don't get me started on this fucking meetup mission. My god. Look at my controller. You see the wee grips on the- Yeah, I rubbed all of that off just doing this one mission. I'm gonna lie, I was getting- I was getting a bit heated. I could have kicked a pigeon. I would have- if there was a pigeon, I would have kicked it in the face. One time I was at a train station and it was very early in the morning. I was waiting for my train to have my headphones in and there was, like, a crazy guy, like, and he was- he was- he was talking 
and then you know when you don't know if he's talking to you and then I started realizing he was talking to me and he was really angry about pigeons and he stood up and he full on booted this pigeon that was in the train station and it was it it was awful. This mission, it was very hard and I spent ages trying and I wouldn't give up, but eventually I did it. Did it feel good? Was it worth it? Not at all. I could have went outside and done something with my life. And bearing in mind all this difficulty I'm saying, I play in the mode auto catch. So basically when I do the, when I flick to do the trick, my guy automatically catches the board. You can turn that off and then have to use the analog sticks at the right time to catch the board in midair and land it. Fucking losers play like that. <laughs> Like, you, you might as well be playing on a fucking skateboard and controller, am I right? Anyone remember this? I tried to forget. The wonderful thing about Session is how customizable it is. Like, this is a perfectionist wet dream. Look at all these settings. Look at them. They just keep going. You can tailor Session to however you fucking want. You want rails to be really slippery? You want gravity to be basically not there? You want loads of people in your way so when you miss a trick and get annoyed, you can ragdoll someone across the street? From your clothes, to your skateboarding gear, to the fucking time of day, to how many clouds are in the sky. Like, you can change it all. My one little warning though is don't play this game if you're looking for like a story, because the story here is fucking shite. Like, go watch Grey's Anatomy. Choose me. <laughs> Love me. Also, this game got some jank. Like, it's, it's pretty good jank though, it's quite funny. It's funny jank, good jank. Some of that good old fashioned jank. And why is this so hard, by the way? Like, I'm not a game developer. I don't know, like, how to code or anything like that, but, like, it seems to happen in a lot of indie games where I make my character and I want him to have hair, like myself, and then I want to put a hat on, and then it just makes him bald. Like, they can't process the two different things. Why is that so hard? You've got fucking board physics, but I can't wear a hat. Session is at its best when you are just cruising about, listening to music, putting on a podcast, and just finding spots to skate. You know, like actual skateboarding. Instead of, hey man, there's a fucking statue in this person's garden, and we need you to skate up it, and then nat a spin on it for precisely five in-game seconds, so that it breaks, falls down, breaks this water filter, and then the pool empties, and then you can skate the fucking pool. There's none of that. <laughs> you can completely ignore the story in this game, and you'll probably have a better time. I think that Session here might be the closest closest that we will ever get to replicating skateboarding and the feeling of skateboarding using a controller. When I play Session now, I feel comfortable with the controls and I feel like I know what I'm doing and it makes me excited because I'll find a spot that I haven't skated and I'll be like, hey, what can I do here? And I'll try new things and I'll get hyped on it. But like when I started the first few hours, oh my God, I was, I couldn't, I couldn't even ollie up pavements without fucking dying on the floor. And then I would just sit and get angry because I felt like a piece of shit and I really wanted to be good. And then my hand would just hover over the uninstall button. And let me tell you this, when you slam your board down after trying for like half an hour to get that trick and you roll off into the sunset like a fucking John Hughes movie. Mm. When I was 13, I gave up skateboarding. I, I retired. I was, I was very mature for my age. I basically realized that I was way too afraid of hurting myself. I hate pain, but I just don't like being in pain. And when you skateboard, you can't really do that. You have to commit. You hesitate, you're going to get hurt. So I just couldn't get past that mental roadblock. Like you need balls to skate, you know? <laughs> you need fucking massive balls. Massive Giant balls. balls. Tiny, Tiny cock. <laughs> if I'd had this game when I was 11 trying to skateboard, I wouldn't have left my house. I was 11, where, where would I go? Like me and my friends used to sit and play Tony Hawk and try and play it realistically, which is fucking impossible because you go to like grind a rail and you end up doing like a backflip over a telephone pole. And I just find it funny that Session here, the one thing that threw me off and made me not want to play it is actually the reason that I love it now. Like you gotta learn the basics. You know, you gotta walk before you run and this game makes you learn to crawl first. The fuck am I saying? I'm sorry. But once you eventually get through the hard part and you've learned some muscle memory and you start landing some tricks, oh my god, it's fucking euphoric. Like, you see when you go to try a trick and then you land it and it felt natural and it felt good and you landed it the way you wanted? Oh my god, it's, it's just fucking, it's better than like an ice cold can of white, you know what I mean? And I gotta tell you this. I am impressed. Because the thing about skateboarding is it's not about high scores and it's not about being the best unless like maybe you're Nigel Houston or some shit. But it's about creativity and individualism and showing your style and personality through your tricks. Your personality and your overall style and the way you do things is a huge part of skateboarding. Hell, if you want to wear Tim's while doing it, go ahead. You can go on King. You ain't getting an ankle bruise anytime soon. And to a 13 year old me who gave up skateboarding but still loved the culture and loved the sport, a skateboarding simulator like this would have been a fucking dream come true.
two for me. And now we have two. And you know, Skate 4, or fucking Skate, is on its way. And I really hope that EA doesn't do, you know, what they always do, uh, fuck up everything they touch. Like, we all know this game's gonna be fun, you know? It might have some fucking pay-to-win bullshit, but we all know we're gonna jump in with our friends, skate about, have a good time, it's gonna feel good, and we're gonna do some parkour or some shit. But I really hope the people that have played Session, or even the people that haven't, give Session a chance and realise just how special a game this is. Like, skate's gonna be great fun and easy to get into, but Session here is arguably the closest you're gonna get to the feeling of actually skateboarding while playing a game. This game is difficult, as I said, but when it clicks, my god, it fucking clicks. And the fact that something like this exists because nine incredibly talented people have worked their arse off. I didn't stutter. Nine people made this game. Like, you can fucking smell the passion. What's that saying? Oh, that's passion. You guys are fucking welcome at mine any day. I'll make fajitas. I make, I make, I make some damn fucking good fajitas. You know, skateboarding games have had a rough decade. Oh! As I said, the rain stopped coming and the soil dried up and we just got left in the dust. But it kind of looks like the skies are opening and the soil's getting a bit wet. And now it looks like we're going to be eating good guys for a bit. Everyone, cheers to session. Now go get your knee pads on and have fun. Love you very much. I'm a shredophile. I'm a shredophile.